Hi everybody, good evening. I'm doing this room T-Shirt Challenge 1. I did uh, this morning number 2. Uh, this is straightforward room. They give us, let's go quickly on it. Uh, they give us a pickup file. First of all, it's good to go past the uh, T-Shirt, the basic room. It has a lot of things you can do. A subscriber too, and then we have this uh, the the the, the white shark um, CLI features. I I know I didn't finish it. In any case, uh, there's a couple of things interesting how to use the command line. But let's go quicker in this room. Uh, a bit late for me now. So the the first thing the question is we're looking for is is the domain domain that user because with domain users so we basically we just look for the DNS queries if you look for the domain user uh, doing it so that's why we look for DNS query dot name and then we cause a field fields and we extract the DNS query name and then we can get what cut I forgot uh, T shark minus R teamwork the file. Now we get all the 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 domain that user was connected to. Of course, we can make it uh, sort unique so it can get easier for us to get. Now we have we have uh, Google.com is not malicious. Whatever I think I'm not sure it's local or something. Then Comcast is not, but this one is interesting. So if I copy this for example and I go. Uh, go the URL if I go there he said very funny he guess it's 194 detail he said first submission we can have it it's it submitted in uh, 2007 17 April this is the answer for the second question this is the, the URL so uh, if we notice if you submit it without the HTTP let me do this if you submit a domain only without HTTP, uh, automatically you need to put HTTP. So, <coughs> so we get it. So the first one, when it was submitted, is this answer. So we have that at the time, and then of course you did defang URL, defang IP. So this is your URL that you submitted for the uh, for the room. So we have now the URL. We have the, uh, the, uh, the URL down next for submission. What is impression? The answer is very. Uh, this is is clear. Uh, virus dot is impressing PayPal. That's what is impressing. So it's a phishing site. That's why it's a security vendor flag as phishing. So it was a flag and as phishing. Uh, the site that is trying to mimic is PayPal. So. That's the answer for the third, uh, uh, third question. So is a phishing site trying to mimic uh, trick user to think is a PayPal site. That's why it's PayPal.com and then they add that. So it's finished site. Um, so you try to impersonate, imperson uh, impersonate a PayPal website. Now the IP address, to get the IP address, of course, we can just check the DNS response. When you query DNS response, you get an IP. So, um, so we can just say T shark minus T minus R, our work, and then uh, minus Y, uh, DNS query name, and then we can query the query. The query we know it's querying this one. Let's use that one. Uh, it's with the turn and then uh, end uh, now we get a response back so we get DNS uh, uh, flags response equal one and then if I the field I want to uh, hold on the field want to extract field and then minus e a DNS and get IP so we can get the IP Oh, something is missing. What uh, what we did missing here? Uh, yeah. Oh, this one minus uh, and then then. Now this is the IP address for the uh, the IP address for the domain. So we can just come here, 
and of course you can say this thing IP address so that's the answer for the next question is the IP address though the next question is said uh, what's the email address what's the next question is this is we got this we got PayPal we got that one we got the IP then it said what is the email address uh, that was used now to do that is basically the question is is a phishing site so someone went to the website and typed their email and password so basically uh, one trick to think about it we can use this um, uh, minus z credential minus q but didn't work so we can we can test it to some is r uh, timber minus z credentials minus q and give empties it doesn't but but now how to look for so we, we can capture the uh, the post request so we can get t shark minus r um, teamwork my file the oops minus y uh, we can get the http request uh, method uh, request method is a uh, post and then we can do the fields fields uh, minus e and we can get just uh, the data for example I start at the, the data file so oops data and we can get the data of the post request and you can see it's it's it give you part of the answer Johnny because uh, this is 40 so you can just if you get confused you can just take this Uh, and you can just put it as because this f why is not uh, fixing uh, solving it that 40 is uh, what the, it's it's your own coding what's wrong with you URL URL decode yeah it's uh, it's at I don't know why he didn't got it. So the, the 40 is encoded here because now it's a post request. So you can see the email, a user email password. I don't know why this one couldn't figure out uh, the password. And you have the password Johnny5 Alive in the browser mosaic. So you can see the the post request. It looked like a post or you. Because end and end, it looked like a get request. Let me do something, query, test something, why not? There is no get request, it's a post request. And now if you want to clean it, uh, if you search online, there is another one you can use. We can say T-Shark minus, minus our teamwork, uh, minus Y. Uh, we can use the same thing. HTTP uh, request method post because we know it's uh, someone is posting part of the form so we know method is post minus T fields minus e HTTP we get the host uh, we can get also the HTTP uh, request URI and then we can get also HTTP uh, uh, no, what do you call them URL encoded uh, form key or we can get no hold on minus E URL in in encoded form value so if we get this what you give us this one this one it clean it a little bit so now we have the gmail we had uh, it it contact the form basically uh, so you get the email address of the user so we have johnny and then uh, a defang if you come here so if you it really are but so defang there's no defang email so what we defang defend uh, yeah 
How I did the answer? Yeah, you just def yeah you defend also the at and then at. Oh, you don't put the uh, so why don't pick it up? So we're not defending here. Is that defend email? Uh, defend URL. What's the question is? Enter your answer, different format. Oh, they already give us the answer here. I forgot it. It's not different email. So you can, you can put at, at, and you put the point. So, or you can go, uh, another one I found it with the uh, assistance of uh, ChatGPT is this one, but it didn't work until you figure it out. See, it's the same thing. We just, uh, you get the um, HTTP method post, you get the host, and HTTP request to URI and then you do grab to to extract the email. So basically this question which we did now here um, I think this one URI now we can extract the email from here. Remember if you do this that grab command can't extract it because you can see now how the email is. There is it's encoded that's why it doesn't work but if you use this one it, do, it does it so if let's try it now we give it straight the email address so yeah yeah uh, thank you very much guys and hope you like it and have a good day thank you